Bangladesh is the second largest Muslim country of the world. Islam has direct influence upon the lifestyle of the people of this country. One must be struck with wonder to look at the geographic boundary of Bangladesh. On three of its sides is a nuclear-powered non-Muslim state and an ocean on one. Many would wonder how this huge amount of Muslims had gathered in this green land of 1,44,000 square kilometers. Islam descended this delta named Bangladesh through a number of Arab merchants and saints. They put forward to the ordinary caste-ridden people of this country the egalitarian facet of Islam. With the passage of time, those preachers of Islam became a part of the people and the heart of this country. Islam in Bangladesh did not result from the battleground's conquests. It is rather premised on the tireless efforts and labor of a number of devoted preachers of Islam. Those preachers came to this country with the word of the Prophet in their bosom. You reach my word to others. It is in fact the Alims that had waged continual struggles to sustain Islam in this country. Those struggles were political at times, military at times, and at times cultural. Never did they flinch from their struggles. Never did they stoop to their opponents. Never did they retreat out of disappointment. In fact, the people of this country are highly free-spirited. When it came to the struggle for existence, they never compromised. They never acquiesced in dependence on others. It must be noted that 200 years of the British rule did force into a corner the Muslims of this subcontinent politically, but religiously and culturally they never conceded. Torture and persecution notwithstanding, they never forgot their identity and existence. Upon the departure of the British, the subcontinent was divided on the basis of religion. Pakistan became a Muslim state, but the rulers turned into the military junta of West Pakistan. East Pakistan, that is today's Bangladesh, fell a prey to deprivation and exploitation. There started the movement for autonomy. Ultimately, this movement led to the movement for freedom. People of all walks of life took part in this movement, but the leadership was left with the seculars. But it is true that this movement was against torture, persecution and injustice. Bangladesh that we see today came into being in 1971. People dreamed of a change of their fate, but soon their dream turned into a nightmare. The politicians who used to speak in favor of the ordinary people of the country entirely changed once they were in power. They stepped on the stage in the robe of the exploiters. The whole of Bangladesh started to change. Poverty and frustration grasped the whole nation. The vain philosophy of socialism took a seat in the heads of the rulers of the post-liberation Bangladesh. They stood against Islam. The alims, ulemas and the religious leaders became their targets. Without rhyme or reason, they were thrown into the dark cells of the prison. Whatever was necessary to trim off any religious education from the educational sectors was done. A massive anarchy set in in the country. Economy collapsed. Millions of people died from the famine worst in the time immemorial. The educational institutes turned into the turfs of the terrorists of the student organizations of the autocrat. People with different views were indiscriminately shot to death. The word of the rulers became the law. 
But the fighting people of this country had never accepted any persecuting autocrat. It was not an exception this time as well. Within four years of the liberation, the autocratic ruler had a cruel fall. The people of the country heaved the sigh of relief. But this relief could not last long. There started a wrestle for power, coup and counter-coup. A blood-stained history ensued. The ordinary people of this country started to turn in the whirlpool of insecurity and uncertainty. At such an unstable time, there was the advent of Bangladesh Islami Chhatru Shibir. The founding of Bangladesh Islami Chhatra Shibir on 6th February 1977 has been a momentous event in the history of student movement. Ever since the liberation of Bangladesh, there had been no other student organization in this country to speak for the national ideals and for the religious faith of the majority. Islami Chhatra Shibir holds a five-point program. The objective of its first point is extending the dawah of Islam to the young students and thus awakening among the young students an urge to achieve Islamic knowledge and practice it in their personal life. In order to materialize this objective, Shibir makes a personal contact with the talented and industrious students with qualities of leadership and good character. Concerning them, Shibir organizes general meetings, seminars, symposia, welcome ceremonies, debates and competitions of various sorts. In order to make a wide publicity of Islam among the ordinary students, Shibir undertakes to do postering, wall writing, publishing various booklets, including those with the introduction to the organization. Islami Chhatra Shibir is an organization of the talented students. It maintains a close contact with the distinguished students. Every year, Shibir holds illustrious welcome ceremonies for the students who succeed in SSC and HSC exams. This program of Shibir has evoked an unforeseen response among the young students throughout the country. Islami Chhatra Shibir happens to be the only student organization of Bangladesh that centrally holds such welcome ceremonies for the distinguished students of the country. Islami Chhatra Shibir believes that no movement can be a success without concerted efforts. The second point of the program is organizing under the organization the students who are ready to participate in the struggle of establishing an Islamic lifestyle. In order to make the organization well-disciplined, dynamic and efficient, Islami Chhatra Shibir has an organizational hierarchy. Through this hierarchy of supporters, workers, associates and members, the organization is given a smooth run. Islami Chhatra Shibir is the only student organization of Bangladesh that thoroughly adheres to a democratic process with regard to the selection of its leaders. Sarvacha Sangha Gorpe Bangladesh Islami Chhatra Shibir Endro Sabha Bhati Nirvazi Kohesan Bhai Muhammad Salim Uttar